I hit veteran two and unlocked 11 cap breakers on all of my builds, which means this 6-3 build I just made is going to have some insane amount of extra attributes, badges, and OP animations. So today I'm gonna show you how I hit veteran two, what my builds, attributes, and gameplay is looking like after unlocking these cap breakers. And then of course, a new build that gets a 99 driving dunk that I'm thinking about making with these 11 new cap breakers. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like in the video, and let's go ahead and get into us hitting this veteran too. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, AKA Double H, back at it with yet another video. Now, if you guys missed it, I ended up streaming the first couple hours of season two, just like I do with every other season. So make sure you have post notifications on so you can see the noties when I go live. But after checking out everything that was new in season two, I hopped on the twos court with a teammate and i am a part of rise affiliation so we ended up actually winning season one's i guess affiliation battle which means we get a level up boost and for the first couple hours i didn't get nothing right but then randomly as you can see on my level up bar in the top right i went from 81 percent to veteran two to 98.3 with my level up boost so then i ended up streaming a couple more hours and hitting veteran two so let's go into those last couple games leading up to that veteran two level up and then we're gonna get into the cap breakers the builds and the gameplay with those cap breakers we are officially at 99.8 percent to veteran two it's time to lock in can't be losing out here bro we're playing two purple right. we're playing a, a purple one. post score there oh, the damn. first possession i already know what we gotta do i just got quick slip every time dude i gotta be ready for the board though it's 99 0 board he messes him what um yeah i'm never getting contest on this guy i'm not gonna lie no no and that's the ball game we're never gonna let the hold on, hold on. come back come back come back i'm quick something yeah yeah they're way too slow to guard that i'm coming back up oh yeah free never mind free 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 good shot let's go come on can't lose to these post scores good pass yep they're trying brother they're trying to get the freest win ever huh no oh my god that's a fake screen and slip Watch the shot immediately. I lie, you can't reach. I can't gamble like that. That's yeah, I can't gamble like that. And what am I supposed to do on this? Oh, and why does he keep inbounding it? What's the problem, bro? Board. All right, no more illegal screens, bro. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Shot. The shot. Gotta take over a building. I'm not missing, bro. I'm not missing no more. Grab both if you miss. Come on. Come on. 18 to 12. Three more points to beat these two seven foot post scores. Let the wide open. That's. Go, come on, bro. GG's, bro. Green. Come on, double. Dude, why are they pulling up on two seven foot post scores? A 35 game win streak. That should be 99.9%. .9%. I got 99.9. .9. Okay, okay, okay. Veteran two, bro. This game. For three? Bang. Shot. We got to get a 21 0 here. Nothing easy. For the wrap up game, I like it. I like it. Nothing easy. Game, I like it. Bang. Come on. That's two in a row. But a person on behind the god next looks even bigger than the last people. Good guy. For three. Bang. Three in a row. We got heat check. Shoot a three. Okay. You're not going to. Your energy is probably cooked. Green. Come wow. on. Four for four from three. We're locked in, man. About to get level five takeover ability. Come on. Green it, please. Five. Yeah, that for the midi let's go good board though good board wow well, we finally missed we sure. finally missed I, th I thought we were about to go seven for seven for a second there fade away fade away three in the corner come on man let's go. come on from deep green mm. god damn that's heat check 
heat check and takeover. I ain't gonna lie, just go for that board. Are you about to be seven? Are you about to be seven for eight? Just are go for that to, board. Are you to be seven for eight? He's guarding oh, me too. Tough. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. I From he was just out of balance. That's so. That's game. A plus. What's 23 up? points. Seven for nine from three, eight for ten. That's gotta be better in two, man. Now, I don't know. Like, we how can we have a better game than that? Like, give me that level up. Bro, what? Yo, are you serious? Not now. This next game is 100% my veteran two level up game. Before we get into this game, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. In the next 60 seconds, I'm gonna teach you how to make money while watching live streams. Introducing the 1v1 Me app. This is a platform that allows you to stake on the best gamers in the world when it comes to competing on your favorite games. 1v1 Me has paid out already $50 million in winnings, and I have personally have had a blast staking on this app and competing on this app over the last year. So let me show you how it works. First, download the app, then of course, sign up and use code HH for an extra $10 on your first stake. Deposit some money using either PayPal, Apple Pay, Cash App, or even a card. And now it's time looking for your first match to stake on. 1v1 Me has a bunch of games to choose from, but once you find one, go ahead and enter the amount you want to stake, and of course, which team you got. Then when the match starts, it's time to load up the stream and start winning. So once again, if you want to get on this, make sure to use code HH to get an extra $10 on your first stake, and you must be 18 or older to stake and shout out to 1v1 Me for sponsoring today's video. All right, th this has to be the game, man. Yo, easy midi. I'm new here. What's good, Mango? All right, four to zero. We haven't missed a shot. This could be a perfect game. We got to stay locked, though. It could be a perfect Shoot a little midi. Perfect game. Nothing crazy. Just a Ooh. little midi. Heat check, Ooh. okay? Nothing crazy, though. Just got to keep keep the pace going. Back to the right. Easy the three. Nine for nine. Or nine. On. Nine oh. Four for four. Corner midi. Yup. Yup. Uh, Come on. I might be able to go perfect. I might be Break able to go play perfect, oh bro. We're about to get level five takeover ability. Oh my god. We're Dexon back. That's heat check. That's deep bomber takeover. Delay. 17 to 0. Another back door. He's reaching. Yes, sir. I'm teaching. He's reaching. 19 0. Oh. This could be game. One more. ISO. One more, come on. ISO. ISO. ISO? Yup. ISO. ISO. Hold on, hold on. Let me cook. Let me cook. Pass me the ball. Pass the ball. From deep. Bro, hey. that was. Okay, that was not a That's very shit. late. Oh, no. Really? Oh, no. Are we about to lose the veteran two number. game? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. No, no. Not three back doors in a row. I pick up. Yep. Yep. You pick up. We're there. We're there. That's fully boxed. He went up with that? That's fully boxed. And he's fouling, bro. That's, a, that's what we like to call a frustration foul, bro. Our only missed shot is literally a half-court shot. I'm not going to lie, bro. Just hit me right back. <laughs> From the hash. Get him out of here. Off the backboard. Yeah, no, That's green. green. 37 Better game win streak. We haven't we haven't lost a game in season two. Like we hopped on the court in season two. 37 game. Now we're about to hit veteran two. That's vet two. That's vet two. Come on, give me the my level up, bro. Give me my animation. That's vet two. That's vet two. Give me my baby. animation. Okay, veteran oh, two. Okay, that's that's Spam so up the veteran twos in the chat. Oh my god. Now we gotta hop off, chat. Hopping off the 37 game win streak. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh yeah, you actually are hopping off. Now for the people that didn't know, at Veteran 2, if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail of the title, you get another five cap breakers. Now we got five cap breakers at starter three. Now we're, I mean, yeah, no, starter three. Now another five at Veteran 2. If you guys don't know what cap breakers are, basically attributes that you can add onto your build. So I was on my 6'3 build. This is a 99 mid-range build that I haven't released yet. If you want me to release a full video on it, let me know in the comments. So I had already did plus 5, 94 to 99 midi on my first set of cap breakers. 
And now with these next five cap breakers, I was going to do a plus three ball handle for Hall of Fame handles for days, Hall of Fame ankle assassin, and then a plus two seal for Hall of Fame interceptor. And I would also get those C Francis drill wounds that you just saw. So I put those cap breakers on to the build and there were 10 cap breakers right there. But if you guys didn't know, I actually also hit level 40 already this season. And if you didn't know, level 40 in season two gives you plus one cap breaker. So I ended up claiming that. And then I put another plus one on ball handle, giving me a 96 ball handle and also giving me Hall of Fame unpluckable. So if we take a look at the build right here, this is the 6-3 build, 99 midi, 82 dunk, 96 ball handle, 91 speed ball, 94 steel, 85 prim, 86 speed. The build is looking pretty sane with these 11 cap breakers. Look at the badges too. I mean, obviously we all have, we have all the legend shooting badges, but now Hall of Fame handles for days, Hall of Fame ankle assassin, Hall of Fame interceptor, Hall of Fame slippery off ball, gold glove. Build's looking crazy. The win percent reset this season. So I have a 99 win percent right now on this build. And you can see when I load them to a game, it shows 99 mini, 96 ball handle, 94 speed or steel. It's actually insane, right? So let's get into some gameplay of me using this 6-3 build with the cap breakers. Now, what sucks about these cap breakers though is like I had to grind for Hall of Fame Interceptor and Hall of Fame Unpluckable, which is kind of stupid. Like I should honestly just get it immediately. But it is what it is, okay? But this build is insane. The shooting is crazy on it. I can shoot insane from the mid-range. I can shoot insane from the three-point line. You see, I'm running around screens with a uh, seven-foot center setting screens for me. He can also pop as well. But there's that Steve Francis move right there, getting me around the screen that I now have because of those cap breakers. I'm shooting middies. I'm shooting threes. I have heat check as well. Easy back door right there. We're up 12 to zero. So yeah, I got that Steve, those Steve Francis moves from the cap breakers. I got the 99 midi from the cap breakers, which gave me all these legend badges, helping me shoot from deep and from mid range. And this deep bomber takeover also just goes crazy with the heat check as well. I mean, I'm greening crazy in this game play right here. We're already up 18 to zero. It's not like I was cutting out a bunch of plays or anything either. I just cut out the inbounds. We're already up 18 to zero. Uh, we're already up. I finally missed a shot right there. It was kind of a troll shot though. But then we get a little crab right there and we already win a game 21 to zero. There's one game for y'all right there. But yeah, these cap breakers for this 6-3 build specifically is just a good example of how much better a build can get through these cap breakers. Like I said, 94 midi to 99 midi get put me from gold shooting badges to legend shooting badges, which is going to help me shoot from everywhere on the court, right? And you're seeing me use the Steve Francis move every once in a while. I haven't even gotten good with that move yet because I haven't had it yet. When I get good with that move, it's going to make the build even better, right? So yeah, we're shooting better. We're dribbling better. I'm not going to get plucked as much because I do have that Hall of Fame unpluckable. Not only that, when I do get open, I'm going to have more energy when I'm open, making it easier for me to shoot because I'm going to have Hall of Fame handles for days. Look at that behind the back, by the way. Darius Garland behind the back, absolutely destroying defenders because it is the best behind the back of the game. Heat check, shooting a fadeaway three in the corner. And look at, once again, I'm only cutting out us walking to the inbound and then inbounding the ball. Guys, we're already up 16 to zero. This build is crazy. This 6-3 is what I use to level up fast when I'm trying to like just end games quick because that's what this build does. It ends games super fast. All I do, run around the screen, shoot a, cr a crazy deep shot once I get takeover, shoot some middies, Every once in a while, go for a reverse dunk, uh, dribble fast around the whole court. I mean, the build's insane, right? You see, I'm shooting over him right there. We have legend shooting badges. So, you know, legend die is crazy. Shooting from deep. Now, I don't have legend limitless, silver limitless because I have an 89.3, but that's all you need, okay? Just like that. That game's over. Next game, we're playing a goat tier superstar. I think three or four right here. He's on a 6 3 as well. But my 6 3. Got crazier stats. Now, this is before I got that plus one. So I, this is with a 95 ball handle, not with a 96 ball handle. But not only that, you guys saw I put a plus two on my steal. So I have a 94 steal. So now I have Hall of Fame Interceptor. So I'm also getting 
more steals in the lanes with that hall of fame interceptor so that's nice as well overall the cap breakers are just going to make me make so many other builds like this 6-3 way better than they would have been just out of the builder with no cap breakers and that's why we're going to show a potential build i could make that it's going to get a 99 driving dunk that's going to be more of an iso build instead of a build like this that's taking screens right because you guys are used to my play style mostly being iso but this build right here is completely different than that you know we're shooting floaters we're running around screens we're shooting fades we're doing all types of stuff in the pick and roll game okay so right here we have eight to zero i'm doing nutmegs between the legs right there we're going out to the midi again easy mid-range already up 10 to zero in this gameplay we have heat check and this is we're playing a go to your guard right here but you know this bill is just too crazy look at that shot right there i literally just pulled up in that dude's face with heat check doesn't matter is green okay now you see we're on the fireball because we're on a big win streak in this specific gameplay chad's also also my teammate he's on a seven foot popper so he pops for a little midi right there i got deep bomber takeover so now i can shoot from super deep another reason why i really didn't need to go past silver limitless range but i shoot a tough shot right there my center gets the rebound gets the put back down and honestly i green a lot of those shots where i fall on the ground you're gonna see me green them in future gameplays and if not in this gameplay but look at me shooting from deep we got deep bomber for the reason in, in my opinion the best takeover ability in the game and i have takeover accelerator as well from hitting veteran one so i'd be getting takeover a little faster it's 10 percent faster so it's not anything crazy but it's still pretty solid so we get open over here we're running to the corner pop to chad easy mid-range ends the game right there and we 21 0 that starter four right there we had a little 27 game win streak in that gameplay but anyways moving on to the next game i mean we're just getting through games and it snaps of a finger that's why i'm also such a high level because i've been running with this 6-3 build just ending games damn near instantly and i was talking to my teammate chat about this by the way we're playing two post scores in this gameplay right here but i was telling him like and he was agreeing that i don't think i've ever had a 2k where we end games as fast as we do in this 2k and level up as fast as we do in this 2k because of this 6-3 build but anyways we're playing two post scores so they're going to be super slow on defense so really i don't even need a screen i can really just outrun them get an easy midi you see you see i missed one midi right there but we get to my spot over there up nine to zero i also have some of my lethal zones in the mid-range area on this build as well so just making me even more lethal from the mid-range if i wasn't already with a 99 mid-range rating so we're up 11 to zero I'm about to be, I think, one off heat check right now. We're getting close to level five takeover. My teammate doesn't even really need to set a screen. He ends up setting one right here, though, and we get wide open for the mid range. And now we're up 13 to zero. I also have heat check, but Chad's wide open for three. He ends up shooting it, but he misses it. So we give up the ball to these post scores, right? Now I do have Hall of Fame interceptor. So I'm going to run at the post score right here. Hope he passes it, not necessarily looking for a steal, but just to waste time which is exactly what I did right there. So now there's only 10 seconds on the clock, eight seconds. He's still at the perimeter. Finally starts backing down with five seconds to spare. Three, two, and my center's walling up. Gets a great block right there. I get the ball. And honestly, I didn't even mean to shoot that right there. So kind of just wasted heat check. Probably could have shot way better this game percentage wise, but it is what it is. It's just one miss. My center gets the rebound back up to me, 16 to zero. I still have level five takeover ability. Shoot the easy midi. We go up 18 to zero against these two post scores. They're actually in a clan as well. And I have level five takeover ability, so they stand no chance. I'm just going to shoot it from deep. And that's 21 to zero. Once again, the win streak was still going in that gameplay, but 39 game win streak. We end up playing this old head right here. And I'm going to show some clips of him in game chat because it is pretty entertaining him trying to guard this build you know it's not like this was like some comp gameplay but it's just funny seeing his reactions in game chat trying to guard this build because yes i am taking screens with this build because we're just trying to end games fast but i could also iso with this build with like a six seven popper in the corner as well i have an 82 driving dunk i have the dribble moves to do it i have the speed to do it i have the shooting to do it i have everything to do it but anyways take a look at or take a listen to game chat right here during this play right here i can guard you here though if your center stay out the way on my mom i can guard you here though. damn he did so like i said earlier like i can make those contested shots you've probably seen them make, make them before on this 6-3 but going back to game chat after i finally miss a shot right here you, you gotta just listen to this this is hilarious let's go wait man come on bro 
double H. What's up with the one for one ISO, bro? Tell your tell your sinner stay out the way, gang. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Come on. I bet I can guard you one on one. He just did that shit as soon as I said that. Alright, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, get out the way. God damn, bro, you don't mean. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get out the way. Are you gonna leave me over? There. Come on, bro. Hell no. Ah. Now that man was funny in game chat and the gameplay went crazy on that 6-3 ever since I got the 11 cap breakers. And honestly, I still have to put my cap breakers on a lot of my other of my builds, but that gameplay was like a week old. Now I am literally like top 40 levels in the world i'm getting close to veteran three as well and we're honestly just trying to grind to that legend one for another five cap breakers totaling up to 16 cappers breakers when i get that and then maybe eventually hit that legend five but anyways another thing i wanted to show you guys before we end the video is what kind of builds let me know in the comments what kind of build should i make with these 11 cap breakers this is a build on the screen that i've been thinking about making i want to make some kind of 99 driving dunk build and the shortest build you can go is 6-4 to still get a 99 driving dunk plus 6-4 you still get all those good drill moves and jump shots with a 6-4 and under uh animations but i feel like a build like this would be pretty crazy right 99 driving dunk so we do plus five cap breakers on the dunk right here in the builder we do plus five cap breakers on the ball handle right here so we get 95 ball handle for steve francis that level 40 plus one cap breaker can go right here plus one speed of ball for 91 speed of ball and then maybe when i hit legend one and get another five cap breakers i can put that plus five the perimeter defense for a 92 perimeter making this build literally insane now obviously i would prefer the shooting to be higher but you have to have this wingspan to get the 99 driving dunk but it's not like the shooting isn't good but yeah this could be like an iso 99 driving dunk build i don't know if 99 dunk is really that good in 2k25 but this could be a build i could make with the 11 cap breakers there's probably a ton of other builds i could make but let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like the video hit that subscribe button it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace